everyone, my name is Lindsay Thornton and I'm an Education Specialist here at NASA Langley Research Center. Today I'll be demonstrating how to utilize our sound effects activity. You'll notice I've laid out the items in your kit in two sections, since this activity has two parts. In the first part, you'll redirect the sound waves coming from a smartphone or similar device so that it amplifies the sound you hear. In the second part, you'll be challenging your students to build devices to quiet the noise you've just amplified. Now to begin our activity, you'll want to make sure your students are familiar with the basics of sound waves, talk about amplifying and reducing sound, noise pollution, and ways that NASA quiets aircraft. You'll also want to specifically mention chevrons, which are used to quiet the sound of jet engines, where the hot air from the engine meets the much cooler air outside. To get the students started, split them into small groups of two to three, and assign job duties within their team. Some examples of job titles are project manager, lead engineer, and lead scientist. For the first part of our activity, we'll need a smartphone or similar device, a paper towel tube, two plastic cups, a pen or marker, and scissors, and if you like, some tape. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my paper towel tube and trace the speaker end of my phone right in the middle. Then I'm gonna to wanna to cut that shape out and make sure that my phone fits comfortably into it. Next, I'm going to use the end of that paper towel tube to trace holes on the sides of my cups so that when I cut out the hole, I'll be able to put a cup on either end of the paper towel tube. Now, once I've cut out the holes, I'll attach my cups to the ends. And you can use tape to secure the cups if you so choose. Now, we'll want to give it a try. Turn on something that has a fairly consistent sound level and slide the speaker under your phone in and out of the slot and listen to how it changes the sound. Notice that our speakers are redirecting the sound waves in the same direction, which amplifies the sound. Whereas, when you pull your phone out of the slot, the sound waves move out in all directions. You can test to see if you see a measurable difference in noise by using a sound meter, also known as a decibel meter, as well as your ears. You can use an actual decibel meter or get an app on your phone. An oscilloscope can also be used to help students see what the sound waves are doing as you amplify or dampen the sound. Now for the second part of our activity, compare your speakers to two jet engines and ask your students to build a device to quiet the sound coming out of their speakers using any combination of the materials in front of them. Here we have styrofoam cups, aluminum foil, paper, cardstock. Feel free to use anything that you have in your classroom. Be sure to remind them that since we have two jet engines, in order to still have thrust, you can't completely block the holes that are producing the sound. Once students create their devices, have them try them out. If they quiet the noise, it's a success. Once again, they can use a sound meter to test how much of a difference their device makes. And if there's time, have students come up with ways to improve their devices and implement them to see if their ideas work. Feel free to make this a bit competitive between teams and see who can quiet the noise the most. Have teams explain how they improve their devices to the class. And to end the activity, be sure to discuss with students how the shape of their device and their materials are what muffled the sound, but some of the ways that NASA quiets aircraft is not the same. We don't simply muffle the sound. Chevron specifically quiet the sound of jet engines by smoothing the temperature transition from the heat of the engine to the outside temperature. And remember, NASA is always looking for new and innovative ways to reduce sound. Be sure to check out our videos on quieting the sonic boom and the X-59. Thanks for joining us here today and have fun implementing this activity in your classroom.